An influx of earwigs. Ontario is seeing more of these creepy crawlers this summer season. CTV Stephanie Davis has more on the reason behind it and what you can do to limit them on your property. They're not the most appealing insects. I don't like them. No, I same with my kids and my husband. They're everywhere and yeah, we'd like to get rid of them. Earwigs out in full force. We're definitely seeing more earwigs this year for sure. Because of last winter's mild temperatures and this summer's wet, humid conditions, earwigs are here for the long haul. So when we have a little bit of rain all the time, which is what we've been blessed with this year, uh, we definitely see more creepy crawlers. Their six legs and pinchers may be off-putting, but they do have benefits. They help to decompose, you know, organic matter. So like decomposition is really, and it's very crucial because we need all the nutrients, the nitrogen recycled in nature, and they really play a big role to that. Earwigs also feed on some other insects that damage the garden, but they can be pests themselves. They also feed on many of our vegetables and we would find them, right now you find them in uh, cabbage, broccoli, um, cauliflower, kale, you find them in any of the brassicas. Keeping yards tidy and dry will help eliminate them. But if there are too many, over-the-counter traps could be the answer. So just go and buy it, it's ready to use, and you can put them out there. It actually attracts the, the earwigs into the trap and they can get out. Pest control companies can deliver a more heavy-duty spray, or a homemade trap in a bucket or pot can be another quick, effective method. Put a little bit of cardboard and maybe t uh, paper, towel, tissue, moist, put there in some corners. It attracts them, it draws them there. And then once they're attracted there, you can then take them and empty them into soapy water. Whether you hate them or can tolerate them, experts say the goal should be reaching the ideal balance of earwig existence. Stephanie Davis, CTV News, Kitchener.